It's October and that means it's a big month for fashion in LA. LA Style Fashion Week is the most influential week for fashion in Los Angeles and there were many highlights from last year's events. However, three designers stood out from the closing of that week and we have Neon Tommy's staff reporter Renee Swanberg's account of how it ended with a bang. Canadian designer Roxanne Nikki opened the show slowly with her high fashion yet functional line. Nikki's work focused on texture, though her runway was at times livened up with furs, luxury fabrics, and the occasional sheer piece, Nikki relied on the always classic leather to support her line, a choice indicative of the overall ambiance of her show, solid and steady but not particularly groundbreaking or fast paced. Up next was the more upbeat show by Brian Hearns, which opened up with slightly more flair than the previous show. Hearns line featured unique combinations of separates with an emphasis on flirty A-line miniskirts and structured vests and jackets. Hearns too dabbled in the mixing of creative textures and editing, mixing everything from metals, dreamy chiffon-like skirts, leather corsets and fringe bottoms, and high shine materials with sheer paneling. The star of the night and crowd favorite, however, was beloved Filipino designer Michael Cinco, who drew gasps from the audience from the showing of his very first statement piece, which set this tone for a line obviously built from passion and intense craftsmanship. Cinco's work was a breathtaking procession of futuristic bodysuits and form-fitting couture gowns. His dresses were an enchanting combination of intricate embroidering and sequencing on sheer or lace canvases. The models had their hair slicked back, which allowed viewers to focus on the beauty of the garments. This ability was necessary considering that the show was full of surprises, including a pair of bodysuits whose hoods were magically released and transformed into slitting floor-length skirts halfway down the runway. Though Roxanne, Nikki, and Brian Hearns were, for the most part, delightful to watch, it was the work of Michael Cinco that truly made the closing of LA Fashion Week a success. www.hellohollywoodproductions.com 3107387309 and 8183576797 Hello Hollywood Productions I'm here in Beverly Hills home to many designer boutiques and they're just excited as we are about October and fashion in LA we have exclusive coverage coming for you from many events and especially Style Fashion Week stick around and stay tuned for our coverage. For more fashion news, let's check in with Jacqueline on Rodeo Drive. I'm Diane Mears, and this is Fashion in LA. I'm standing in front of the Louis Vuitton store in Rodeo Drive. Stay with us to find out the major changes going on inside this French fashion house. With Fashion Week upon us, we're here to find out about the spring trends and talk about the top designers. This is Fashion in LA. It's the end of an era. Marc Jacobs is saying au revoir to Louis Vu. The world-renowned designer is stepping down as the creative director of Louis Vuitton after clocking a whopping 16 years with a luxury label. Now that sure is some commitment. There's no denying that in that time, Jacobs transformed the brand. Louis Vuitton was once known solely as a luggage company, and now it's become one of the world's most lucrative labels in the industry. 
During Jacob's tenure, profits soared and his collaborations with artists have created a cult-like frenzy around the brand. Jacob's, known for his high voltage shows, definitely went out with a big bang, giving fashion fans quite the presentation for his final collection with the French Fashion House. According to Women's Wear Daily, Jacob's will concentrate on an IPO for his brand. All I know is I cannot wait to see what fab fashions he sends down the runway next. This is Jacqueline Gage with Fashion in LA. Stay tuned with Hello Hollywood TV. Hollywood.